what is up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is chance here if you did not know if you are new here welcome if not welcome back so you guys in today's video, we are going to be doing my apartment tour. I'm sure as you can tell by the title. I know it has been a long time coming. It's been about a year since I've lived here. I li Yeah, I literally just re-signed my lease in July. So it has been a year. And as you guys know, it takes time to get apartments together, to decorate, to get things, especially since like coming from my studio apartment, I got all new furniture. So everything is new. Well, it's like a year old now, but it wasn't brand like new. I had to buy everything new. Um, I got rid of all of my furniture from the old apartment just because it was small and I had to fill up a bigger space. Decorating takes time and I'm still not 100% done with this apartment and I don't know if I ever will be. So I was just like, we just gotta get this video out. It's been long enough. I've had you guys waiting long enough. I did reveal this apartment back in December on TikTok and it got 1.7 million views and a lot of questions. Even still, it's still been a long time since then and I didn't get this apartment tour out. I'm finally gonna do it and just get it out of the way. Hopefully people are still interested in wanting to see it. I'm super excited and it's been nice me and Riley having our own space and just being able to you know be free in our own spaces because her and having her own room has been literally amazing it's been nice her having her own space because literally since she was born we've been sharing a space like she hasn't really had her own room up until we moved into this apartment so it's been nice i probably will only live here for like one more year well this year and then um i'm manifesting a home I want a home for me and my baby girl, even if it's just me and us, like I want to get a start at home. So that's kind of my goal after this year. Hopefully no more renting. Um, I want to get a start at home because I do want properties under my name. I want like properties that's going to pay for my dream home. Like, <laughs> so that's like my plans is to get a couple of like starter homes and then hopefully those homes will pay for my dream home. So we gotta get that process started. I will be turning 30 next year. So it's like, it's time for some big girl moves and I'm excited. So yeah, this intro has been long enough. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So again, just like my last apartment tour, I don't have anyone to help me film. So I'm gonna film by myself. So hopefully I can get the whole thing for you guys. But we're just gonna go ahead and start this video. So turning around, we are starting with the front door. This is the front door. Um, when you come in on the side, I have my mail holder slash key holder, which the mail is overflowing again. And I need to go through it, but I haven't. I got this cute little Wi-Fi sign from Burlington. And, and then when you keep going this way, you have my living room. So starting this way, I have my TV stand, which I got from Amazon. And then on top of that, of course, is the TV and my surround sound, which both are from Walmart. Down here, I just keep this little rug here because that's where our shoes go when we come in the house because I don't just like them to be on here because it's like you have to open the door and... Yeah, I don't know. So I just put it right here for me and Riley's shoes. And when you go this way, we have same basket from the studio apartment, which has throw blankets in there. <laughs> and then the curtains that I have, I just have black and white curtains in here to kind of match the theme. Um, the black curtains came from Ross. The sheer ones are from Walmart. And then the curtain rods, I think, are from Burlington. And then I do just have like a lamp right here, which is from Walmart. And then the star of the show in here is my couch. I have this couch. It came from like a local furniture store that was in my neighborhood, but they actually ordered it from Ashley's. I found that out later on when I was waiting months for it. This couch took forever to come and I was so annoyed but it's here and I love it it was actually I actually thought it was tan when I ordered it online but it turns out it's gray which kind of worked out because I had to order this rug not knowing it's supposed to be ivory and black and the couch was supposed to be ivory as well 
but it ends up turning out that this rug is ivory black and silver so it kind of all came together that is the couch the pillows on the couch majority of them came with it except the white ones the white ones are from my old apartment and then in the middle here we just have my coffee table which is from amazon and on the coffee table i just have this tray which came from burlington which i also brought from my old apartment these coasters are from either burlington or ross i'm not sure the candle was gifted to me and i do have one little pumpkin because i am about to start decorating from for fall and that was from my old apartment so i just put it there for now and then when you go up here we just have a picture that i found from burlington so when i said that there was spaces that i didn't finish the living room is one of the spaces i didn't finish because i did want to add something on this wall and maybe i still will i just don't know what to do i was thinking about maybe like some black sh some black shelving like and like stagger them but i'm not 100 percent sure about that so we will see. Um, this throw blanket is actually from, I believe, TJ Maxx or Burlington. I'm not sure. One of the two. And then back to my TV stand because I didn't show you guys. This is another thing that I didn't finish. The decor is just old decor from my old apartment. But I never like actually finished decorating this. So it kind of looks super bare. But um, I just keep games and then, yeah. So that's that. And then when you turn around and you come into my apartment on the right side, this is the dining room. The dining room is probably one of my favorites because of the table. I love this table so much. My mom did gift it to me. It was, uh, I, I believe it's from Overstock. And she also gifted me the rug. The one thing that I will say is these chairs and having kids, they are destroyed but i'm sure i can clean them i just haven't yet so i'm my plan is to rent out a like hand a handheld cleaner and i did buy chair covers for them but over time i just stopped pulling them out for the kids so um when riley has her company and stuff like that so that is the only thing about that but otherwise i love this table so much it's literally the fav my, one of my favorites in the house. <laughs> so moving on to like by the window, we have pink curtains. Those are those came from Walmart, and then the gold curtain rod also came from Walmart. Um, the two pictures on the side both came from Burlington. You guys know Burlington is like my favorite store because it's like they always have the really cute stuff for really cheap. Because yeah, I don't know. And then this also came from Burlington, which holds absolutely nothing. During Christmas, I put like ornaments in there and it was like cute, but I just haven't found anything to go in there for like an everyday thing that matches like the decor. So we'll see. And then when you come this way, we have my, this console table, which I use as a bar. I don't know where I thought about this idea or got this idea from, but yeah i just decided to use it as a bar so on the bottom shelf obviously is all the alcohol and then the second shelf is all of my glasses and shot glasses and things like that up top we just have some coasters um that i brought from my old apartment this sign that says gather and then i have this mixer which is from amazon and then up top above that i just put this mirror and that came from target and then if you guys can see over here in the corner, I just have like some stuff stored. These mason jars where I have nowhere to put them. But also these hookahs. Me and my me and my cousins, we love hookah. So all of these hookahs are here because we all like to have our own. They're not all, well, three of them are mine. But one of them isn't mine. But two of them was gifted to me. So yeah, but we love us some hookahs. So over here, before you go into the kitchen, you just have... A trash can i have it there because there's really nowhere else to put it and then this is the kitchen this is what the kitchen looks like a big old open space that you can see out to the other parts of the apartment which is nice because when i'm cooking and stuff like i'll be standing over here i can see the tv or i can see what my kids doing in her room like it all works out i am not in love with this kitchen obviously i don't have like a luxury apartment where there's like hardwood floors and stainless steel but it works and it's way more space than in my studio so i have all these cabinets up here i just keep 
dishes and stuff. This is like all my glass cups and things like that. And then this one is just plates. I don't think this one is organized that well. It's not. <laughs> I just have stuff thrown up there. But yeah, so that's where I keep dishes. And then down here, obviously, is just like under the sink storage. So cleaning products and stuff. And then down here, I keep like food and snacks and things like that. And then obviously, we have the fridge, which I don't know if this is organized. Uh, yeah not so bad <laughs> we have my fridge and yes I still do my TikTok fridge right now I have leftovers just sitting in there but I still have my trays and stuff and then on this counter we just keep tea because it's like right next to the teapot like y'all see the vibes yeah and then I have this um, oil thing and then my air fryer which I got from Amazon and then my knife set and then in here is like pantry stuff Above there, I keep all my seasonings, and then in here is more food and pantry stuff. And then right here, we have Riley's little area. So this whole thing is like Riley. She's super obsessed with cereal, so I got this thing so that it was easy for her to make her own cereal when we first moved in. And it's been wonders. Like, she doesn't have to ask me to make her cereal anymore because she knows how to do it. Down here, I just keep all of her dishes and then just like extra like snacks and stuff those are juice boxes things like that and then in here it's like her silverware and stuff and then these towels came from i think tj maxx or burlington i'm not sure and of course on the stove teapot and this spoon holder that my mom got me the this was from home goods i believe and then this was from burlington I did bring those from the old apartment as well. So yeah, that is the kitchen. And then when you walk this way and you go to the left, we have a closet which I made into an office. So on this wall, I just put these two pictures in here just to kind of like decorate. But they both came from Burlington. I love it. Kind of matched the theme of the dining room. And then I also have this pegboard that I was supposed to use for a vision board but I never did and now I just have it up here I said I literally just put it up here because I said I'm gonna start like putting like motivational like sticky notes and stuff like this one just says let go and let God I want to start doing that and just like putting motivational things up there that I see or just kind of keep me motivated in life but yeah and then looking straight back behind there there I still use it as storage although I did turn it into an office because I don't have a place to put everything so it still had to be used as storage but this stuff right here is my lip gloss business stuff which I kind of don't have running right now but I'm still debating if I'm going to or not so we will see but for right now it that sits in here I also have um this bin which is full of hair stuff still like in my last apartment um, this one is just this is like camera stuff and cords and then nail stuff are in these two drawers and then i keep my printer in here my laptop just quickly over here i just keep my purse when i come in just like miscellaneous stuff that i don't really have a place for and then i just have this picture right here that says be your own kind of beautiful because it is kind of like my catchphrase for my lip gloss business because my lip gloss business is called bu cosmetics be your own kind of beautiful so yeah i found that and i was like oh that's so cute so i brought that in here and i also hung up a calendar that i have that i don't use not gonna lie and then obviously the star of the show in this room is my desk this desk is from walmart um it's a pretty simple desk it just has like one drawer and um i thought it was cute and small um because my desk in my studio apartment was kind of big and i didn't really want to bring it here so yeah and then on my desk sits my ipad my computer of course that was given to me by my brother and then i have my bible the bible in 52 weeks so this is this basically gives me the scriptures that i read every week and then my notebook that i take notes in when i read the bible and then obviously i still have this cup from my last apartment pens and pencils that my mom gave me this little sign that says girl boss yeah and then my chair my desk chair came from ross 
and then up here I still just keep like storage and stuff so yeah that is my little home office that I created for myself and I could just close these doors and I'm locked away from my kid <laughs> And then, so, when you walk further down the hallway, first thing you see is this canvas that I brought from the old apartment, and I just put it right here, of me and baby girl. And I love this canvas so much. Yeah, and then you go to the right, and it's Riley's room. So, this is my baby girl's room. I literally just changed it around again, if you guys watched my other video when I rearranged her room it was like that and I literally just changed it around because I wasn't liking it anymore I feel like we needed something new so when you come in first thing you see is her tv and the dresser the dresser is from Ikea and then we still have her her dress up stand from Amazon that my mom gave her and then on the walls here, we have these signs which came from Amazon and so did the frames. I will do my best to try to link those for you guys. And they, they're just um, affirmations. I can do anything. I am smart. I am awesome. And then there was another one that I think it said I am beautiful, but she broke it. So <laughs> we don't have it hanging right now. I have to get another frame on the side of her bed we have her nightstand which in here just holds um undies and then the bottom one holds her socks and then on top she just has this night light her lamp and her tablet and her remote to her tv and then of course her bed this bed frame is from walmart i decided to get her like a what do you call this industrial one because I just feel like it's gonna last for a long time. She does have a full size bed so she can have this bed for a while because she's only about to turn seven so she's still pretty small. So she'll have this bed for a while so that's why I decided to get this one so that it will last a while. The comforter that she has is from Burlington which I'm obsessed with. I love it. It's so fluffy and soft and she loves it too. And then her curtains are from Walmart and the curtain rod is from Walmart as well. As you guys can tell, we're kind of going with like a rainbow type theme, but more like pinks than reds. Um, and then up here we have these canvases that are so unevenly put up, but it's all right. <laughs> um, I'm lazy and I'm not the type of person that measures things. So yeah, they just going to be like that. But yeah, I found those at... I believe Burlington so yeah I just have those hanging and then obviously over here we just have her closet and I don't know if you guys remember me saying in my old apartment tour that she had so many stuffed animals the collection has only grown and that's why they're they get their own spot on top of the freaking closet because I have nowhere else to put them so <laughs> the collection has grown she is obsessed with them and I don't know why but this is how I have her closet set up over here in the corner we just have two of these um like storage cube things and then filled with bins and it's just like her stuff in these I have books and notebooks she has hair stuff school stuff miscellaneous stuff toys down there her purses and bags are in one of those down here is just um coloring books and stuff so yeah, this is her beat up toy chest that I just haven't got rid of because I kind of want to like refurbish it, but I just never, I just haven't. I said I was going to like sand it, repaint it, stuff like that, but I just haven't. But it's a really nice toy chest, so I'm not going to get rid of it. I will refurbish it before I get rid of it. And obviously her clothes are hanging. And then these two things, this one holds shoes, this one holds clothes her clothes um for the week of school so today when she comes home we'll go through and pick out her outfits for the week because if we don't it is a fight with my child and what she wants to wear every day so i got this to make life easier and we've this is actually will be the second week that we use it and it worked well last week so i think i'm going to keep going with that and then she just keeps her book bag hanging here on the wall and yeah so this is Riley's room and then when you walk out of Riley's room straight across um, on the wall I just have these two canvases that were in my kitchen from the last apartment. I just kept them because 
why get rid of them <laughs> we found a place for them so i just have them right here and then this room right here i'm gonna just show quickly because it is kind of a mess it's my laundry um being the fact that i didn't ha i had to move a lot of the storage out of the storage closet i had to put it in here so we're just gonna close that back and pretend like yeah but that is the laundry room i do have washer and dryer in unit and then when you come and you go further down the hallway we have this picture from I believe Ross um, this was given to me by my mom and it's a little crooked um, it was given to me by my mom and it was above my bed in my studio apartment I don't know if you guys remember that but I just put that in the hallway because it still matches the vibes in the house and in this hallway there isn't really much going on besides the black canvases right here so that's what we got going on there and then you have the bathroom so this is my bathroom the whole bathroom is furnished by Walmart. <laughs> Basically, yeah, everything in here is from Walmart except this picture. I don't know if you guys remember this from my last studio apartment. It was on the walls in like the living space. This is from Burlington. We have my shower curtain, which is from Walmart. The rugs and the toilet cover both are from Walmart. Um, and then just the little holders that I have for everything came from Walmart as well and then in here I just keep floss because I have to floss every day so I just need it to be in sight otherwise I won't <laughs> so yeah and then we have the medicine cabinet which obviously holds medicine and my mouthwash and then down here of course we have everything else and believe it or not this is organized it's just so much stuff that it just it just doesn't look great but it's organized like everything has a space so <laughs> yeah that's how we keep all the you know personal stuff all these towels are from walmart too and then i still have my same scale from the last apartment in here but that is the bathroom and then when you go turn finally at the end of the hallway we have my room which is obviously my favorite space place of the house this is my sanctuary this is my my baby okay when i was decorating my room i decided that i wanted to keep it super light and airy in here bright so i went with super bright colors um obviously just whites creams pinks gold like that um so when you walk in first thing you see is this full length mirror that I love so much. I found it at Burlington for $50. It was literally the perfect spate, like mirror and the perfect price. I cannot pass it up. And then I found this vase at Burlington as well. And then the flower that's in here, this faux flower is from TJ Maxx. And then when you go this way, we have my dresser. My dresser is from Ikea and it is, I love it it's so spacious and yeah these knobs are from Amazon I did replace the knobs so it's not the original knobs from the Ikea dresser but I thought adding the gold would just make it look so much better of course and then on top of my dresser I just keep my perfumes jewelry um, this jewelry holder is from Amazon and this one was gifted to me so I'm not sure where that's from obviously my TVs on my dresser and then I just have my skincare fridge you guys remember me talking about this for from my old apartment i got it for christmas and then as you keep coming further obviously one of my favorite parts of my room i think this is the fit my favorite part of my room this is my vanity space this is where i get ready this is where i do my makeup my hair so over here i just have my everyday hair stuff because going back and forth to that closet is just too much for me so we just have that and then i have a wig head down there <laughs> on top of the vanity i just keep this mirror and my brushes and then obviously the vanity mirror which the vanity mirror came from amazon i will link it down below i love this mirror the best like 200 and some dollars i've ever spent <laughs> because um obviously you can turn it on and off and then you can change the settings of the lights so they get yeah really bright or like i don't know the 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 terms for the lights but obviously you could change the lights um so yeah the vanity desk is from amazon as well and obviously we just keep all of the makeup 
and everything which you guys know how small my vanity was in my studio apartment so there's a lot more makeup that fits in those so I've bought a lot more makeup since then um, and then coming this way we have on the side of my windows we have these two frames which I did not put pictures in them because another thing I just never finished but I do have to get some pictures printed out and put them in there um, so yeah I found both of these at Ross and then these curtains are from Walmart so I chose sheer curtains in my room because I just wanted it to be super airy in here like I said so I wanted the natural light to still come in I didn't want um like heavy curtains to kind of block out the light I don't know why I just like it to be bright in here so that was with that this curtain rod is from Walmart as well as the same one that's in the dining room I just got both because it was like it, I needed gold for both so yeah and then on the sides of my bed I have on these side tables and they're both from Amazon and then on there I just keep on this side I just keep obviously the lamps the lamps are from Target they're both the same on each side these little decor things are from Burlington I just kind of bought them and they've just been sitting there I don't really care too much for them but whatever and then I just have a full flower and I keep my remote and then um, obviously this is my bed which I love my bed so much this bed is from Wayfair I was originally gonna get it from Amazon but it was sold out so I had to find it somewhere else and I ended up finding it on Wayfair which was really exciting on here obviously we just have a white bedding um, my white bedding is from Amazon this is from home goods pillows are all from Burlington I believe except a little white one it's from like big lots I think above my bed I just have this picture which I love so much it just tied everything in together the pinks the golds the tans like it was just a perfect picture and I'm so happy that I found it and I found this at Burlington and then obviously over here on this side table I just keep this picture of me and my baby girl and then a candle and then obviously the other lamp that I was talking about and then when you turn this way, we have my closet. Um, my closet is full to the max because, again, storage. <laughs> so I have the biggest closet. So, yeah. Up here, up top, I just keep all of my shoes on this side. Over here, just like my Uggs, a couple of purses, these wig heads, that storage. I don't have a linen closet, so these shelves were put in here. And I use this as linen. So the towels, the sheets blankets and stuff all of that stuff gets kept right there I have this for my shoes obviously my clothes are hanging I did try to like organize by color as much as I could as you guys can see it's like blue jeans blacks whites yeah so I tried to organize by color so that was the best I could do and then obviously down here is just storage I have an empty laundry bin and then more shoes are behind that laundry bin but yeah this is oh and then I put these in here these were the other pictures that I had in my living space last time with that big picture, but I had nowhere to put them. So I'm like, oh, the closet, it's cute because of the shoes and the perfume, you know, I don't know. That was like my thought process with that. So yeah, guys, this is the closet. Oh, um, behind here, I have this thing, which I saw, I have another one in the bathroom, but I just hang all of my purses on here. Well, this isn't all of them, but these are the bigger purses. And then I have another bin that holds like my smaller purses which is like right there so yeah that is my closet i feel like it's pretty organized for the amount of stuff that i have to keep in here so yeah that is it but yeah guys so that is the end of this apartment tour um that is my full apartment i really hope you guys enjoyed um, like i said i will do my best to link everything down below for you guys so that you guys can purchase any of these things if you would like to hopefully this video gives you guys some inspiration just knowing that you don't have to have like a luxury apartment to make your home feel luxury to me i feel like my home is beautiful and i've made it a home for me and my baby girl yeah and it's just like i'm just blessed and i thank god every day that i'm able to provide this space for me and my daughter and just like you know I don't know it's just crazy that this is me and this is my life and this is what I've done for myself by myself um so yeah I'm super excited to be sharing this video with you guys I hope you guys enjoy it um and like we said next year we are manifesting a home 
you guys. I'm praying for it. Um, we working for it. We gonna do what we gotta do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know what to do. Just give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.